give two different ways you can carry out the following transformation so mechanism is not required let's look at what we have and one two three four five one two three four five always count your carbons so we are not adding carbons or losing carbons in the chain these two methyl groups are seem just like decoration they're not really doing anything there so that's that uh, and then we have two halides on the same carbon and we are forming a ketone so considering that we are not adding any carbons or losing any carbons right now we know how to make ketones from alkynes and then we also know how to make ketones from alcohols okay and so that's going to be our thinking so let's start first from the alkynes <clears throat> so to start from an alkyne you have to make an alkyne and we can do that because we have the two leaving groups here so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of both of these leaving groups so which means we'll take excess of sodium amide and so then we will lose the um, two bromides and we should form the alkyne over here okay and so I'm going to try and draw it that way so we have five carbons to Two carbons here and then one here uh, so one two three four five okay that's what we have and then we have the two methyl groups over here so once you have the alkyne now we can go ahead and uh, make our ketone from the alkyne and the way to do that is to use mercury sulfate in sulfuric acid and that should give us our ketone so that's one synthesis that we can do and now from alcohols okay so how do we get ketones from alcohols so from ketones you will actually have to do oxidation okay in order to get a ketone so now we need to figure out how to get an alcohol so here we have uh, made an alkyne so I'm going to go ahead and start from an alkyne uh, and then make myself an alkene from there because I know how to get an alcohol on an alkene all right so I will go ahead and do that so which means that I'm going to go ahead and start with this alkyne and I will add one mole of um, hydrogen so I will use Lindlar's catalyst that will give me only one mole of hydrogen so now I have an alkene and I have the two methyl groups um, no issues there and now that I have the alkene now I have to make an alcohol on this carbon so that's easy enough I can just use HgOAOC which is mercury acetate okay in presence of a base and whatnot and so now I have an alcohol here the two methyl groups are still there and now if you don't mind I will just go ahead and do this so we can get a ketone here by just using PCC okay and so um, it's just a matter of manipulation of functional groups in order to get your uh, compound that you want